Hey guys, what is up? This is Tamer from ITT. I talk tech, giving you all your latest news, reviews, and how-tos for everything tech. Today, guys, I'm giving you a review and use of one of my favorite apps to use on Mac. Now, that app is called Disk Doctor. Now, I don't know if you guys happens to you guys for you um, Mac owners, but you check in your um, system preferences or no, your disk um, utilities, and you find that you have very little space left, and you're like where is all this space going to you know you want to find out where it is and you just can't really pinpoint where it's coming from well this doctor is an app for max that will um, allow you to um, find out where all this um, used up memory is so as you can see I pulled up this doctor and it's very easy to use it shows you how much right here you've used of your whole total um, hard drive so my whole hard drive for my Mac is 120 gigabytes because it's an SSD it's the MacBook Air alright it says I've used 80% of my space used now over here it's gonna tell me my free space and I have 24.2 gigabytes um, that are free and I used 96.3 gigabytes and my total capacity is 120.5 and I'm thinking that's a lot of used space I'm like where is all this going to I might it might be true that I have 96.3 used because of certain reasons because of my videos and stuff like that maybe I didn't delete some of them after I uploaded them or maybe they're just some other things that I don't need to and I can delete them so I can just click start scan and very quickly and it's just take this could take a few minutes it really won't it'll just take maybe a couple seconds now it has broken down everything to me from what it is and tells me how much there are as you can see there's a category for application catches um, application logs browser data trash can downloads mail downloads but I don't have mail set up on this yet um, and large files now application catches you do not you do not need these are just the um, these are just the pop-ups you get in the applications these can be deleted now all you need to do and delete it is just flip the switch to on now over here as you can see when I flipped it the numbers changed this is telling me how much I'm freeing right now so if I switch off everything I have zero amounts to be freed and this is gonna tell me after zero amounts is freed I'm gonna have the same amount as I have current but let's say I don't want application catches I'm gonna just click on and now it says amount to be freed my new disk space will be 25.3 now application logs you do not need them again they're unnecessary click that on browser data um, some people might need this some people may don't um, details you can choose which um, browser you want to delete them from I'm you know I'm just gonna leave this off for right now it's only 5.81 megabytes not making a big difference not gonna change that much trash can um, 1.23 gigabytes it's telling me now for trash can there seems like there's a bunch of files over there and I want to see you know what's making these gigabytes before I start deleting them so I'm gonna click view right here now it's going to take me up to Finder and it's going to show me all these different um, down, um, trash cans, the things I have in my trash can. You know what, and I see a couple things that I don't want to delete and, and I don't want to um, delete them. So I'm just going to not check that one for trash can. Alright, next one is downloads. Now I know I have a big downloads folder and I cannot turn this on right now because I'm pretty sure I'm going to delete everything. Um, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to manually delete everything for um, stuff on my downloads because I download some pretty big files and I do not want to down delete everything off my thing. But if you know you download and you already uh, and then um, you don't need those files anymore, um, you can just move them out of your downloads by going to Finder, going to your downloads section, and just moving them out of the downloads and into a new folder, the ones that you really need. And then once you got rid of that, you can just click the on button, and then it deletes it. Now, just for um, just for um, this review purposes, I'm just gonna click on on all of these just to show you the amounts. And then mail downloads, um, I don't have anything saved on those, so I don't have anything. But if you guys have anything, um, check that out before you delete it. Make sure nothing important from your mail is gonna be deleted. Now, large files is really useful because I have a bunch of large files, and because of my videos and everything and everything I need to download. So large files, what they do here is very um, it's, it's actually a really good idea. So large files make up anything that's over a hundred megabytes so if I go to details I can select which one I want to delete now for all of these I see I have a um, bunch of big files I have 700 megabytes a couple gigabytes right here five gigabytes right here and this is parallel desktop so I really need these these are really important and I can see where these are going I can select which ones I want to delete and which ones I don't so only the ones that I check mark are gonna be the ones that are deleted 
So the ones I checkmarked became 6.72 megabytes. But I don't want to delete anything from my large files because I saw they're really important to me. I might clear them out later, but I don't want to do that at this very moment. Once that is done, I all you do is click next. And the freeing process for, freeing process for this is very um, fast and simple. So I'm gonna you know I'm just gonna delete all these these four uh, these four yeah. I'm not gonna download um. I'm not going to delete downloads or large files because those are important to me. Only do what you feel is important to you. So it says 2.32 gigabytes will be made available. And all you can do is you can click next almost instantly. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to make a time machine backup. Um, I know what I'm backing up, so I already know what I'm deleting. So I don't really need to make a time machine backup. If you guys are just really a little bit worried and want to have that guarantee that, you know, if something happens that you deleted something on accident, you can go back to it, then sure, make a backup. But um, now I'm just going to click clean and almost instantly, um, a couple seconds, it's going to say thank you and you finished. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to rate this version and stuff like that and just click no thanks. Now it says your hard drive has been cleaned, 2.3 gigabytes of space freed. And that's a lot of um, space to be free, 2.3 gigabytes, but yours might be even more because you have a bunch of things that you really don't need in your downloads or large files section. This is a really cool app. It is available on the App Store for $2.99, but if you click the link in the description, I'm not allowed to put in the title, but I can show you. I can, if you click the link in the description, I will put um, a link to how you get it for free. It will be a direct download. You can get this for free without paying the $2.99. Um, I don't want any copyright issues, so I'm just gonna, not going to say it in the title. I'm just going to call it Review for This Doctor. But if you guys want it for free, instead of paying that $2.99, just click the download um, below. It will be a direct download. You'll download it. It will come as a DMG. All you do is just double click it and install it. It is very simple, very easy to use, very install, and it's worth it. This is one of the apps I really love to use, and you know, I should spend more time using this app because apparently I have a bunch of memory used up. All right, guys, thank you again. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Peace.